All right, juniors, we're gonna talk about the safety equipment in this lab. I first wanna talk about the sinks. So we have both cold and hot water in these sinks. Uh, the reason we mention sinks as uh, safety equipment is that if you get chemicals on you, um, you'll wanna first come to the sinks and wash those chemicals off. We also have uh, first aid kits and the two most popular items in the, in the first aid kit are the band-aids, um, if you cut yourself, and if you should burn yourself, we have uh, some of this solar cam. Okay. Uh, we also have here the safety blanket, which uh, we saw in the video for fires. All right, so what else do we have? Um, we also have these smoke detectors. Okay, these are not fire detectors, they're smoke detectors. So if, uh, if, if you should do a reaction that generates a lot of smoke and, uh, th and the smoke rises and is detected, it'll set off the fire alarms. Okay. Uh, these here are water sprinklers. If there's a fire, um, these water sprinklers will, will, be, uh, will be touched off and will have basically uh, a lot of water coming out of those, one of those uh, sprinklers. All right, uh, what else? Uh, we have the fume hood. So we turn on the fume hood, um, especially when we are maybe uh, making volatile gases. Uh, the fume hood will, will um, pull those gases up and out of the building. Okay. Also, if we're working with chemicals that are that liberate a lot of gases, we'll work in here in the, in the fume hood. Uh, the safety glasses, of course, are another safety feature of the lab. Uh, you're asked to wear these all the time if you are working in lab, okay? Um, and finally, in this corner we have a fire extinguisher. This is an ABC fire extinguisher, as you saw in the video. ABC for both uh, flammables, liquids, and electrical equipment. Okay, uh, let me handle this uh, if something should happen. No one else should be touching the fire extinguisher. And then we have the eye wash station. So at the eye wash station, if you get something in your eyes, I need you to come over here. You're going to press the lever, and that lever, push the lever, it's going to activate the water. You're gonna have your eyes in the stream of water for at least 10 minutes to get all the stuff out that might have gotten into your eyes. There's also the emergency shower. The emergency shower is much more serious if you should get something on your on your body uh, that you can't get off in the sinks uh, or at the eye wash station you're going to come under here you're going to pull this triangle down and that's going to uh, open the valve and let water out i think that's it